Hello, Richard the Dick Coughlin 616. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And today I'm going to be making a video response to an old favourite of mine. His name is Onision. He made a video the other day on his Onision Talks Bollock, I mean his uh, Onision Speaks channel called Does Comedy Have a Limit? Well, I thought I would do Greg the courtesy of answering this question for him, because I like to think that comedy is something I probably know a little bit about, although some may dispute that, but then they probably find Pat Condell funny. Now, in answer to Greg's question, does comedy have a limit, it's not as simple as you may think. The answer is actually yes and no. Now, you might be thinking, well, Richard, that's bollocks. The answer can't be yes and no. Let me explain. You see, comedy does not have any limits in and of itself. However, it does have limits for each individual, because each individual has certain things that they do not find funny and that they personally feel should not be the subject of comedy. I see lots of people posting comments in his video uh, comment section saying that, well, comedy is subjective. Well, no, it's not. See, this is the difference. There is a difference between comedy and funny. Comedy is not subjective. When something is comedy, is made to be comical, that is comedy, regardless of whether people find it funny or not. Conversely, just because somebody finds something funny does not mean that it's comedy. I'll give you an example. Someone like Marmite Man 4, or David Duke, or Hey Ruka, will probably watch a film like Schindler's List and laugh their arse off at it. They'll look at all the pictures and all the imagery and all the ideas of Jews being tortured and gassed and go, ah, oh, 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 brilliant. This does not mean that Schindler's List is a comedy. It just means it's what they find funny. Schindler's List is a drama, that's it. And on the flip side of that, I can watch a video of a full-grown man wearing a banana outfit, dancing around going, I'm a banana, I'm a banana, and I realise that this is intended to be comedy. However, I find it to be less funny than if I was forced to watch a toddler with brain cancer die slowly. That is the difference between funny and comedy. Comedy is objective, funny is not. Now, that just means that those are my limitations on what I find funny. It doesn't mean that it's not comedy. And it certainly doesn't mean there should be a limitation placed on it. Let me tell you a story. A few years ago, I was doing a gig, and there used to be a joke that I put in my stand-up set about men who have small penises. Again, a subject I know a lot about. That's sarcasm. I used to do this joke about paedophiles having small penises would actually stop them committing acts of paedophilia. Why? Because the male ego is such that if a paedophile was having sex with a toddler and it turned around and said, is it in yet, they wouldn't be able to deal with the embarrassment. Now, the few times I did that joke, it always got a bit of a gasp reaction. The worst reaction it ever got was at a gig I did in Beverly in Yorkshire, when a woman actually came up to me after the gig and had a go at me for telling that joke. I turned around and pointed out to her that Previous to that piece of material, I had done jokes about the Holocaust, wife beating, kids with terminal diseases, and she laughed along heartily at them. But when I do the one joke about paedophilia, she found that to be too much. That is the limitation she has. There are things she doesn't mind jokes being made about, and there are things she does. That doesn't mean it wasn't a joke all of a sudden, it was still comedy. It just she happened to not find it funny. I have my own limitations too, limitations that I actually even place on myself for material that I've written. A few years ago I actually wrote a rant that I intended to do as a video, but decided not to, because even I thought it was too much. The video was intended to be called, Stillborn Babies Are Cunts. In the video I basically ranted about how I felt it was so inconsiderate of stillborn babies to wait until they were born to die, when they couldn't have just been miscarried a few months afterwards. They had to put the couple through the trauma of going through an entire pregnancy, they get attached to it, they you know, buy stuff for it, they spend money and finance, they get all excited, then the cunt dies just before he's fucking born. The irony of course being that they're so inconsiderate that quite frankly stillborn babies don't deserve to be born in the first place, which of course they're not, which makes it a whole self-defeating. Of course I could now add on to that that it could be a benefit to mankind if the stillborn baby would actually end up growing up to be you, Onision. So that was just an example of me placing limitations on myself. But let's be honest, Onision, this video about does comedy have limits? It's actually not really about your interest in comedy, because you say in your video that comedy should, does, does have limits, and comedy should have limits, because people might say things that they regret. 
Really, Greg? This video is not about your ideas of comedy, Greg, because you, your ideas of comedy greatly differ from mine, and I wouldn't place limitations on you, and I don't think you should place them on me. This is about your own personal butthurt of people making fun of you recently, because you've decided to start going out with and get engaged to Shiloh. But let's talk about your limitations, Greg. You, not that long ago, uploaded a video of your girlfriend, now fiancé, having a mental breakdown and then have suffering severe memory loss. Now I'm gonna say this straight out, I don't care what you fucking claim or what she claims. That was a fake fucking video. You've taken it down now. That was bullshit. Right, she didn't have any memory loss, she didn't have a breakdown, you faked and staged the whole thing. But you let people carry on believing that it was real. So where are your limitations, Greg? I don't believe you did that for anything other than your own personal fucking amusement. But let's go a step further. Now, some people might think I was out of order for coming up with that rant about stillborn babies. Let's talk about your fiancé, Greg. Shiloh. She recently, on her Facebook page, uploaded a picture of a dead, stillborn, premature baby and claimed that it was yours. She got in a lot of trouble with people over this. They called her on it. She took it down. And then you and her outright denied that it happened. If you don't believe me, if you think I'm lying about this, I'm going to leave links to videos and images of all... All the stuff down there. That's what you and your girlfriend did. You upload pictures of dead babies for the lols, Greg. Where are your fucking limitations, sunshine? Where's your girlfriend's limitations? You get butt hurt when people make fun of you, but you don't mind exploiting the image of a dead child for your own personal amusement on the fucking internet. You also recently banned a friend of mine called Danielle from one of your forums, and after you banned her, you started making fun of the fact that she has ME and is bed bound. So you don't mind doing doing all that shit, sunshine, so don't give me your crap about comedy has fucking limits, because it doesn't have any limits when it's you. I am amazed that a guy who has got, in his two channels, 750,000 subscribers, gets so butthurt about people making fun of him. That's the fucking world you live in, Greg. Get fucking used to it, sunshine. And when you behave the way you do, you don't have any fucking place to complain about it. And even if we did have limits on comedy, Greg, who would place them? You? Right, so we shouldn't offend people? We shouldn't get upset with people? That's the way it's gonna fucking go, is it? Right, well if we end up with that, we'll just end up with a load of shit knock-knock jokes, won't we? That's how it would end up, and it's hard to make one of them offensive, although I could probably try. Knock-knock, who's there? Onision. Onision who? Exactly. Not so much of a joke as it is real life. Fuck you, Greg. I'm Richard the Dick Coughlin. 616. Richard the Dick Coughlin who? Shut it. Good night. May God be less.